Welcome to the Start Empire Wire Founders Podcast, where we make entrepreneurial founders a top priority. Each episode features risk takers, business builders, community shapers, institutional and government supporters in our local startup ecosystem. Tune in weekly to hear all about what's happening with the movers and the shakers of Southern California's Inland Empire and beyond. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Founders Podcast. Today, I'm with Diane Sines, who is the owner of an upcoming fitness studio here in Riverside County, actually Riverside City as well, right? Yes. Um, True Bliss Fitness. Diane, please tell us about who you are, where you grow up, you know, give us a little intro. Yeah, definitely. So thank you so much, Darius, for this opportunity to be on this awesome platform. Thank you for so coming. So let's see, um, we'll go down the roster. Um, I'm a mom to three kids, you know, a wife, a sister, um, a daughter, uh, a friend, a dog mom. Um, <laughs> yeah, right? What uh, kind of dog? Oh, uh, we have a little chihuahua mix that we adopted. Nice. So super cute. And um, I love fitness. Um, I love being in the outdoor space. So hiking, you know, going to the beach, I'm um, going to the mountains. And now I can add small business owner to that little roster. So that's awesome. Wow. Um, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot going on all the time. Uh, I grew up in Mexico, uh, Mazatlan, Mexico. Um, Mazatlan. It's a little port okay. city, um, great community, um, awesome, awesome place. So if you ever want to visit, that's an awesome place. Okay. Um, yeah. So I lived there um, with my mom and my brother until I was seven. Um, yes. Yeah, and my mom remarried. Um, we moved up here to Southern California. And nice. um, my mom was a really hard worker. She worked okay. three jobs when we were in Mexico. And three she, jobs? Yeah, three jobs. Wow. I mean, two kids and, you know, we went to private school. So it was something that was, she was always, you know, always hustling, always working, always trying to make things better for us. Were so both of your parents yeah. working? Yeah, both of my parents were working. Um, my mom was separated, so okay, she okay. had to pick up a load a little bit. And right. yeah, and remarried and okay. came here. So uh, my mom continued working just because she wanted to make sure that we had everything that we needed, um, mm. you know, to succeed, to go to school, you know, to have everything. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That how many effort. brothers? How many brothers and sisters? Um, so I have now I have two sisters and one brother. So I okay. am the oldest. Yeah. Okay. The cool. oldest. Yeah. So um, the work ethic my mom instilled in me um, is yeah. something that's continued to this day. I mean, I've always worked hard in school, um, you know, in sports and in life at yes. the various jobs that I've had. I've always been able to work my way up um, into some level of management. So I was in the retail space for gosh, like 13 years, I started as a, oh, wow. yeah, like a cashier and I became a yes. store manager at a big box electronic store. And oh, that's awesome. uh, yeah, it was great. I learned so much about business and just customers. And it was just, it was an, an awesome, awesome space, right? How'd you get into the fitness space? So how did I get into the fitness space? So I had a kind of like a health awakening, um, about 2000, 2014. Um, and I realized that we only get one body, right? Mm. So we have to take care of our body. And right. sometimes it's hard. You know, we are all super busy. We got so much going on, but um, I needed to take care of my body to make sure that I was gonna be here for my kids. Um, mm -hmm. So that was how I entered into the fitness space. I started watching what I was eating. I incorporated fitness. You know, I started off with running and then okay. kind of just progressed into the, um, you know, using weights. How many kids? A three. I have three. three. Yeah. Yes. Boy, girl. I have a a sixteen year old daughter. I have okay. a uh, fourteen year old daughter, and then a son who is eleven. So, yeah. You got a handful. Yes, and they are all. <laughs> they're a lot of fun. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so you realized that you needed to make changes in your life to keep your one body, and and that inspired you to get into fitness. Yes, yes. So I decided after working all those years in retail that I wanted to pursue my education in the, you know, in fitness. So I went back to school and I graduated last year 
and oh. uh, yeah, it was awesome. It was it was such a great. What experience. Uh, did you go NASM or? Um, like... So I did do my NASM um, personal training certification. And okay, then please I also... describe to the listeners what NASM is. So it's the National Academy of Sports Medicine. So it's a certifying body, and it's about a nine month course um, that you do at home, and you test um, with the proctor online, and you um, yeah, you get your cert. Your personal training certification. So, so it's definitely, it's a challenge. It is one of the hardest, it is the hardest um, certification to get. And I opted to do that awesome. because I wanted to make sure that I did it right. And then I loved it so much that I wanted to learn more about women. So I got my um, women's fitness specialization and I graduated um, with a kinesiology degree and within exercise science at RCC. Where, where'd you go? Oh, RCC? Okay, yeah, RCC. cool. Yeah, it was awesome. So that was a challenge going to school and, um, and working. How long, how long was kinesiology degree? Um, it was, well, because of the pandemic and having kids at home learning, it took me about three years. So it three should have years? taken okay. about, about two, but I, it, with everything else going on, it took me about three. Nice. Yeah. So you went full fledged into this dream and and were you were, were you interested in personal training when you first started fitness or you just were doing it for yourself um so first i started doing it for myself and i saw the complete body transformation, transformation. that i went through myself and i was like this is awesome i want women to you know to feel like this and i want to help others it. yes because if i can do it with everything going on um you know definitely i can help out those um That's yeah like cool. you said i just i jumped in completely were you um, were you counting macros and yeah and, I mean, and counting yeah. calories yes counting macros, calculating calories, protein all of that stuff and um that's awesome yeah you know people make it really complicated and it's actually really simple really simple you can yeah you know there's a lot so much information out there yeah um, when you can really just make it pretty simple for people to understand yeah well i, I would tell you i got you know at one point in time i was really um considering the NASM as well, you know, mm -hmm. to try to go into personal training yeah. as, a side, as a side hustle. But, yeah. you know, like that's just not, you know, where I'm, where I'm headed career wise. So tell me what caused you to really just like, you know, want to become this entrepreneur, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So it was interesting when I first started working in the women's fitness space, um, I interviewed for the job, the personal training um, position that I had and lead trainer position. And I told my boss right away, hey, the ultimate goal, the dream is to have my own, my own space, right? And what so year, said, what year was this? Uh, during COVID, so about like the end of 2020. 2020, end of 2020. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she said, for sure, I got you, I will mentor you. And I, you know, I ran her business for her for for a great amount of time. And I said, this is awesome. I could do this for myself. So how long, how long was it like a year or two that you yeah. ran her business? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You know, she's super busy. And I said, you know, I want to learn. This is perfect. So That's it was a cool. great, yeah, it was a great partnership. Like an apprenticeship <laughs> almost. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, so I started off as a personal trainer and, um, you know, boot camp instructor, and I moved up to lead trainer, which was, okay. which was amazing. So the business moved and it just the new location and the time just because it wasn't going to work for my family ah, um, you know life balance it. okay so i said this is that crossing point this is that that point where i'm just going to do it i've done a yeah. little bit of stuff here and there you know kind of you wow. know delved into starting my own business but that's it i'm 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 gonna go i'm going for it and and i did i just jumped in you know Wow. He didn't, it was, yeah, it was awesome. So. Okay. So when you, when you started thinking about making this move and getting into, um, you know, like owning your own gym, mm -hmm. then what were the things that, you know, you began to pursue? What, what were some of the things that you were like, okay, I need to educate myself on this. Yeah. So, you know, I have a lot of friends that have businesses and I never really thought anything of it until I started doing it myself. So to okay. have a legitimate legal you know, business, it's a lot. It is, it's a lot. It's a lot of forms. It's a lot of um, education um, as far as, you know, learning how to properly, you know, form your business legally. Right. You know, there's, there's a lot of people that have been super amazing in helping me, letting me know like, hey, you need to get your fictitious business name. You know, you need mm. to have your insurance. You need yes. to have your EIN, you know, and it's, um, 
it's it was it, it was it was a lot and i was able to work with the inland empire women's business center i'm pretty sure you're familiar with them yeah and um took a lot of their workshops and their courses and yes yeah and last summer they had a summer course it was a fast track course so pretty much opening up your own business and it was like six or eight weeks about four hours a week online okay. and okay. um it pretty much gave you all the tools you walked out of there with a business plan in hand. So That's learning great. how to write that business plan. In. And that was a lot, you know, um, learning about financial projections and, right. you know, startup costs and pretty much everything that, you know, you can think of, you have to think of when you work on this business plan. And then being able to speak to it, they were awesome in helping me with working with, you know, financial, you know, specialists that can make sure that I was able to properly, um, you know, realize this business. Right. So you're already doing personal training as well too, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I am. So. All right. So what does that involve? So what does that involve? So any clients that I have, we start off with um, like a pre-fitness assessment. So we talk about goals, um, we do measurements. There's so many different ways, you know, you can um, gauge growth. And so I like to do it with um, calipers and with an actual tape measure. Okay. You know, there's body scans that you can do, but there's a lot of variables that go into that. So I yes. think that that's the best way. So we talk about that, we take our measurements, you know, we take pictures, which is something that's really important for you to do. Um, Tell us when about you're, that. Yeah, when you're going through a transformation, you yourself, you see yourself every day. So mm. you think that you look the same every day when in reality, you don't. Um, right. So many physical changes happen that we ourselves don't see that others do. So mm. taking pictures, you know, even if it's just a weekly picture, you're able to see that transformation happen. And it's, it's completely eye-opening. Um, wow. So it's like, like oh an over time yeah, yeah, progression. Def yeah, definitely. So we talk about the nutrition, the nutrition piece, um, you know, talk about what they normally eat. So what I like to do is I like to have them track about three days worth of just what they eat in, you know, in their normal day, daily life. And then we kind of build our plan off of that. So a little bit mm. of nutrition counseling, and then we come up with a plan. You know, is there a goal? Are we getting ready for a wedding? Are we getting ready, for, you know, to go on a vacation? Or do we just want to be overall healthy, which is um, which is the main, the main goal for most of everybody. So we come up with the plan. And again, we just, you know, we work with it and we, you know, take measurements over four weeks, six weeks and eight weeks, depending on what our timeline is. So. Okay. The Inland Empire startup ecosystem industry is tremendously fragmented. A few top tier hubs, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and San Diego are well covered by media, events, and data platforms. Finding reliable information relevant to startups or the tech industry in the Inland Empire is extremely difficult. As a result, startups can't scale fast enough. Investors are having a hard time finding the right deals and corporates can't find the right companies to partner with for their innovation activities. Start Empire Wire, the leading Inland Empire startup publication is providing the Inland Empire startup ecosystem with the most accurate, engaging business and financial data, events and news. Our reach of entrepreneurs, C-level executives, angels, VC investors, startup employees, key management at innovative corporates, and big tech is the solution for your B2B or B2C needs. As we build out our platform, we're looking for partners. This is your opportunity to get in on the ground level. If you're looking to align yourself with the local and growing startup and tech ecosystem of the Inland Empire, we have created the platform to get your name noticed and the opportunity for you to grow the recognition of your brand. Contact us today for availability and pricing options. We look forward to our partnership with you. All right, so give us some examples of some people who have gone through a transformation and, um, you know, with, with you during personal training. Yeah, so definitely one of my biggest successes, um, you know, she came in at um, a really heavy weight for her age and her height. So um, 
she said, I just want to be healthy for my kids. I want to mm. be able to, you know, to play with my kids, run around with my kids. You know, I have right, to be right. 37 different places all the time. So I want to be able to do all that. And right. it was a challenge. You know, she came in, it was, oh my gosh, my knees hurt. You know, oh my gosh, my back hurts. But it's part of that process, you know. And right. over time, she says, oh my gosh, um, you know, the weight off my knees has gotten better. You know, now That's I great. can do this stretch. Um, I was able to walk a mile and a half, you know, on a hiking trip with my kids. Yeah. And um, and again, the physical, um, you know, transformation that happens. She right. says, I mean, she lost about 60 pounds. Um, which wow. is which is amazing, and that was with I mean being completely Over committed. What time period? It was about a year. It was about a year. A year. So sixty pounds in a year is huge. Yes, that's amazing, and and in a healthy way. Um, you know, she was never starving or you know having to feel like she was not you know being able to and even enjoy her life because that's the thing when you are doing a transformation, you know, or um, any type of personal training or a weight loss challenge. Um, there still has to be an aspect of being able to enjoy your life. Um, so mm. a cheat meal, yeah, that's okay. Because okay. if that cheat meal is going to help you have success in the long term, you know, enjoy that celebratory meal with your family. Um, so being able to still, you know, eat the things that you want with your kids and your family, um, okay. but still being completely committed to to the plan. And that takes a lot of accountability. So mm. it was taking me, you know, Hey, good morning. See you in an hour. You know, those, you know, little check-ins, you know, accountability pieces. Yes. Um, how's it going today? Yes. You know, how was your trip? What did you eat? So it's a lot of checking, checking in on that also. So, um, we're still working together yes. and, she, you know, taking some breaks here and there life happens and we're still on an awesome path. And, I'm super excited that she'll be continuing her journey with me um, here at at, um, at my new business. So I'm excited about that. So the boot camps that you do, that yeah. you know, those are group group exercises. About how many people normally are in those boot camps? So here we're we're planning to have at the most 12 per session. I still like to keep a small group, <laughs> just for the fact that I want to be able to watch everybody's form and make yes. sure that they're properly doing um, the exercises. And yes. so we do about 12 at the max here. I've had about 15 in a class and I really like the number 12. Um, just like because the number I, 12. Yeah, I'm able to walk around, um, checking in on them, making sure that their weights are appropriate for them. And again, making sure that form is is there and that we're not going to be getting hurt. So Yeah, no. and so, so tell us about um, what is your um, offering for the boot camps? Like what's the idea behind those? Because so some, some are challenges, some are, you know, there's a bunch of different types, right? Yeah, yeah. So here we're going to be having um, daily classes. So Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, they're going to be primarily strength training, um, still strength with training. some hit. Yeah, okay. still with some hit. Um, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're looking at focusing more on core, cardio, and conditioning. Okay. And then Saturdays, it's more of the stations with um, more physical, you know, um, functional exercises. Yes. So that's, yeah. And that, those are always fun. And those were always, you know, the most challenging. Says, oh my gosh, Saturdays are always the hardest. And it's just because we're doing a different type of, of, of fitness that you actually use in your, you know, daily life. These are morning classes, morning classes. Yeah. Yeah. So evening. we're going to be having uh, 5 a.m. and 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. Classes. 5 a.m., 9 a.m., 6 p.m. Yes. So it's come on down. <laughs> I might have to come visit at least once just to see it, you know? Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I, I'm not just kidding. I'm, I'm not, um, I'm not in prime peak condition at this point, but I, you know, I'm not far away from it either. I have like, I work out. Um, so let me ask you uh, this question over all of your services. Like, like, can you just give us an overview of just everything you're going to be doing at your gym? Yeah, definitely. So um, when a client walks in here, like I said, we're going to be doing that pre-fitness assessment. We're going to find out where you are, mm -hmm. where you want to go, and then how we're going to get you there. So okay. we'll come up with that plan together. Everybody has a different journey. Everybody has a different reason. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to have a private session just to make sure that we teach you the basics before we put you in this class. So we want right. to make sure that you properly know how to do, you know, a deadlift, how to do a kettlebell swing, you know, how to properly, you know, do a bench press 
And yes. so we want to make sure we teach you those basics before we have you join our classes. And that's mm. something that um, happen that doesn't really quite often happen. People just kind of get thrown in and you'll figure it out. You'll be able to see this person do it. Right, um, right. Yeah, and then that causes injuries. And so mm. I don't want you to get hurt. I want you to be able to have a great time and, and you know, get those benefits from working out. So um, we're going to do that. And, um, you know, my number is going to be a number that's going to be given to every client. So if awesome. they have a question regarding, hey, you know, I'm at Olive Garden. What's a great choice? Or, you know, hey, you know, I'm a little sore here. Is this normal? So being able to be there um, for the clients is something that um, is going to be full service. And, um, okay. you know, like I said, those check-ins and that accountability is huge. You got to have mm. somebody rooting for you. Um, that's yes. going to, you know, nudge you along the way. Hey, you could do this. You got this. And, um, you know, and we're going to have, we're going to have fun. And you're yeah. building a community, which is cool. Yes. You know, yes. It, it's so funny because like, it's called a cow a community of women. So oh. I just, yeah, <laughs> right. My husband's like, you don't want to say cow. And I'm like, what's well, true? <laughs> we are going to build this amazing cow here. So this amazing community of women. And um, not only is it going to be. Don't the, say that out loud. Yeah. <laughs> no. Just kidding. <laughs> the fitness aspect, but I'm also going to be doing, you know, things outside the studio. Um, like I said, I love the outdoors. Okay. And, you know, I want to go out and there's so many amazing places in Riverside yeah. to go hiking. Um, and people don't even yeah. know that there's so many awesome places that well, are. Well, I mean, I don't know. Could you mention a few like outside of Robodeau? I mean, I know there's yeah. a lot. <laughs> Have you been to um, Twin um, Two Trees Trail um, up nope. by UCR? Okay amazing okay, um you could do it in about an hour it'll take you through this amazing little bridge wow all the way up to the top i know you've seen that big antenna at the top of the m in yep. marina valley yep. so you yeah you eventually work your way up there and wow. um it's an awesome awesome space and that is cool. um, yeah corona has tons of places as well yep. um, you I, know, they I live it. in corona right now so, yeah, yeah yeah they have um the, you know the cleveland national forest there's oh yeah so many, i mean you know you've heard like skyline skyline and, yeah um, that's that's a big one that's definitely a challenge you don't want to jump into that one right away yeah um, that's a challenge that's, yeah and the and the m in marina valley that's super challenging but definitely doable um, yeah. with the right with the right coaching so that's something that i want to incorporate and not okay only just, so you'll yeah. be incorporating like hikes and community events and things like that exactly, right exactly exactly that's and, pretty cool um, and then having events here at the studio. So one of our first events that we're going to do is, you know, a Galentine's um, event. Oh, so Galentine's. Like, yeah, yeah. 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 What's a yeah. Galentine's? Like it's where a bunch of girls get together. It's and we start gals Valentine's on Day. Valentine's Day. Yes. yes. Yeah. And so I, I'm partnering with this, you know, amazing massage therapist that I met um, through cool. my connections. And she's yes. going to come give everybody a massage. So that's going to be awesome. That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, so, you know. Uh, you're going to be partnering with these uh particular partners for one event or over like the whole period I, I hope of to your build, business? Yeah, I hope to build a relationship with them. And, you know, again, I want to do that for like Mother's Day. I That's mean, cool. I've always loved getting a massage for Mother's Day. Yeah. It feels, you know, so awesome. Yeah. So definitely, I definitely want to build um, the connections with other other, other women, other entrepreneurs, That's especially awesome. here locally. I want to yeah. definitely be able to do that um, and give back to our community. Love it. Yeah, no, this is valuable to our region. So okay. um, let me ask you about <clears throat> like, so right now, you know, you're about to have a grand opening. What what day, what day is that? Gonna January 21st. That is uh, what we're shooting for. So January 21st. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. If, if you are listening to this podcast, make sure you check it out. Um, what about current needs of, uh, where are you at? You know, you're sitting inside of your building. Number one, that's yeah. where you're at. Well, yes. like, where are you at with regard to needs? Oh my goodness. Uh, needs. If I think For about your startup. This, oh my gosh. Uh, money. Yeah. <laughs> funding. That's where everybody, right? Yes. I mean, that's probably one of the biggest Yeah. Ones. Let me tell you, um, getting that funding for a small business, it was something I, I had no idea it was going to be what it was going to be. I just thought yeah. you do the application, they review right. your business plan, and that's it. But it's not. It was a. It was a lot. So yeah. um, being yeah. able to get that funding was was amazing. Also, continuing to build those relationships with other mm. um, businesses in the area, just so that I can learn from them and still continuing my education regarding right. um, continuing a profitable, successful business. Um, yes. you know, that's super 
super important um, for me. And right. so, uh, yeah, just reaching out to different business partners and, and learning and seeing what they do is something that's been super helpful and, and, and instrumental. Well, you're sitting in your studio. Do you want to like um, give anybody a, a, a quick view of it or do you want to wait until grand opening? I would love to. Um, well, actually, I do showcase a lot of the building and the renovating on our Instagram. So oh, you're able yes. to see. What is your Instagram? Oh, um, it's uh, at True Bliss Fitness. At True so, Bliss um, Fitness. Yeah, it's been super awesome because I've been actually getting a lot of support from the community as far That's as like, awesome. the picking of the paint colors. That was something the community chose. Wow. And, uh, yeah. So I said, you know what? I want to get, I want to see what everybody likes. So let's take it to a poll. And um, same thing like painting our door, you know, like, yes. what color. so that was super. So awesome. you got a lot of feedback yeah, already. Yeah, That's cool. We have received some awesome feedback um, from the community, just, you know, telling us what they like and what they don't like. And it's, yes. been, it's been, it's been great. So yeah. That is super cool. All yeah. right. So tell us about like maybe uh, two short term goals in the next two months. We already know about the grand opening outside of the grand opening, two short term goals for the next two months. Oh, let's see. Um, so finishing up all of the projects and um, renovations, obviously in grand opening, I've got some pretty awesome technology that I'm uh, purchased for the studio, which is, nice. a, which is brand new. Um, I know that no other gyms around this area um, or studios are using this technology. So it's With like a be, membership. Um, so so um, we're using a CloudFit TV. So it's a super awesome way to properly uh, show the um, workouts. So it's an extra oh. piece of mind. Yeah. And it tells you, you know, exactly how to do the, the workout with the timer. And um, so if you're ever, you know, oh my gosh, wow. I forgot. It shows you how to, you know, properly do it. So we'll be um, broadcasting that in the studio as well as cool. every client that signs up, they're going to be receiving free health monitoring from um, an app called Spivy. So they're able to okay. see um, how hard they're working in the studio. Most mm. places you need to purchase like a, a waistband or like mm -hmm. a chest strap. Um, but with us, as long as you have a fitness tracker, um, an Apple watch, you know, a Samsung watch, anything yeah. that that's able to track your fitness, you're already in. So there's nothing that's extra cool. for you to buy. Yeah. So you'll know how hard you're working. And so just implementing and learning that new technology is something that, um, that I think is going to be awesome and a real win for the clients. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. So like I mentioned, we've had an awesome welcoming into the area, you know, by yes. the client, um, customers, people on Instagram, social media, Facebook, helping us decide a lot of what's going on with our studio. So it's going to be really awesome. Um, so getting through grand opening, the okay. renovations, and then our first, you know, Galentine's event, like I mentioned. Galentine's is, event. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be, it's going to be awesome. So. All so, right. So that's, that's more than two goals. Cool. All right. So what about your long-term goals? Tell us about three years, five years and 10 years. Like I know it's all projections, but yeah, hey. definitely projections. Um, so for three years, you know, originally when I, when I wanted to open the fitness space, so why a women's gym, right? I thought about the, the, the gender gap in gyms. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. um, I'm hoping that, you know, with one to three years, I'm able to help kind of minimize that gender gap. That is a real thing, yeah. um, you know, with women in, um, strength training, um, spaces. Mm -hmm. So I definitely love to see our, our community of women grow to, you know, 30 to 40 members would be super awesome. Super awesome. And, um, and in three years. Yeah. In, in three, three years, years, that would okay. be awesome. Um, you know, consistent, um, which is, you know, long-term, long-term is definitely what we're looking for. Right. Um, increasing our offerings. So bringing in other things, you know, yoga, Pilates, you know, different other offerings um, yes. to the clients and um, having some of my, you know, my, my, teenagers here help out with you know marketing oh, and yeah. with social media go. so you know yeah. teaching them about about that was definitely about my three-year goal um, all right five yeah. years five years um i definitely love the space that we're in um but of course i would love to grow so you know possibly growing into a bigger space with mm, um yes being able to add some um machines to the, okay. to the studio would be awesome. Right, um, right. That would be a big win for us. And then just continuing to grow our, our community and okay. being a staple. Um, giving back to the community is something that um, is, some, is something that's huge. huge. Um, yeah. Um, I've been a lifelong volunteer and still I want to be able to give back to the community by yes. um, increasing my offerings um, to the community. So, yeah. Awesome. 10 years. 
In 10 years, the big dream. What's yes. the big, hairy, audacious goal? What is yeah, that? Yeah, so in 10 years, I'll be 49. And um, hey, that's I definitely want to be able to either um, pass this business on to one of my children or, um, you know, kind of just become a mentor and have somebody take the space over that has the vision, that has the yeah. same vision and passion for helping women, um, which is something that is super important to me. And um, and seeing everybody win. So right, that's definitely right. the goal. Being a silent partner would be awesome. Um, silent you know, partner. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh, oh, so like stepping back. Yeah, and, just stepping yeah. back. Yeah. And just being, you know, that guidance here for, for whoever wants to take it on. Yes. No, absolutely. Okay. So where can people find you at online, offline, everywhere? How can they come to the grand opening? All yeah. of the above. All of the above. Okay, so um, we are on all the social media platforms, even TikTok, which was yeah, a, TikTok. such a total outside the box thing for me. That's outside um, the box. Yeah, sure. so we have the same um, handle on all of our social medias, um, and that is uh, True Bliss underscore Fitness. Underscore and fitness. so you can check okay. us out um, on Facebook, TikTok, um, Instagram is the, Instagram. Uh, the biggest one. Yeah, I haven't really hopped on Twitter yet. Um, okay. So yeah, so we'll we'll check in on that one later, and yes. then our um, our website um, TrueBlissFitness.com. Um, so yeah, so we are there. Yeah. So I have a weekly blog that I um, that I do oh, put out, and so you do. Yeah, I do. Good job. Yeah, that's that's article. really good. Yeah. So I committed to it, and um, it, yeah, it's awesome. So I love it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. This was really great. I really appreciate you for coming on the Founders Podcast, Diane. Is there any final word of inspiration that you would give to business owners or people who want to maybe be, you know, I don't know, just final word of wisdom? Yeah, you know, don't be afraid to ask for help. There are mm. so many organizations out here in the Inland Empire that give these services for free. I mean, mm. we're talking about, like I said, the Inland Empire Women's Business Center is, yes. is amazing. Um, the Small Business Association um, downtown, they are super amazing. Yes. Um, they can meet with you whenever you're available. They have so many people that have so much wealth of knowledge in marketing and financials, business plans, um, You know, even your like website design. And they all want to meet with you and they all want to help you. Um, for free. So That's look up awesome. those resources, utilize them. Um, they are amazing. And, you know, just do it. It's scary. It's, you know, <laughs> it's a lot, but you can do it. Um, Probably and, ex exciting too. Yeah, right? It's so exciting. And, you know, pack your patience because um, it's a lot of, it's a lot of waiting, but you know, you got to keep with that dream and, you know, it's That's meant awesome. to be, it's meant to be, and it will happen. So. Awesome. Love it. Such an inspirational and encouraging message. The grand opening is what day? Uh, January 21st. I forgot. We are in Woodcrest. Um, oh, in Woodcrest. Yeah, yes, please. in Woodcrest. Physical uh, the, location, where? Yeah, our physical location, stop by and say hi. I am always here, is 17072 Van Buren Boulevard, um, Woodcrest, um, 92504. So stop near, by. Near any other shops or anything like yeah, that? We what's, are, what's close by? Landmarks. Yeah, we're in the Woodcrest Plaza. So we have a State of Brothers, a Dollar Tree, uh, Tuesday morning. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on here. We're right on uh, the corner in a big shopping center. Awesome. Yeah. Man, this is great. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you check out everything about True Bliss Fitness. Connect with Diana. She is... I'm pretty sure able to answer any question that you could have because it's her business and um, attend the grand opening again. Date one more time. What's the date one more time? January 21st, 10 January 21st, 10 a.m. Yeah. So if you can go to the grand opening, go ahead and check that out. Share this podcast with any women, you know, who uh, may be interested in this gym. You said it's going to be kind of open to men as well too, or yeah, there's yeah, for personal training, definitely <clears throat> for personal exactly. training. Okay, awesome. So make sure you get the word out and tell people about what True Bliss Fitness is going to be doing. Uh, we appreciate you for coming on the Founders Podcast, Diane. We wish you much success in 2023 as you endeavor on this new business journey. 
Thank you so much for coming on as well, though. Yeah, thank you so much. It's awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the Founders Podcast. We publish this podcast Tuesdays and Thursdays of every week. Uh, Make sure you tune in, support the founders, support the community. And um, if you haven't done any of the YouTube stuff already, like the video, subscribe, you know, ring the bell, all of that great stuff. And we will see you next time. Peace. Thank you.